The world's biggest carbon polluter is China, and right now its capital is choking. Seth Doan is there. The thick smog blanketed Tiananmen Square in a murky, hazardous haze. Levels of the most poisonous particulates were more than 20 times what the World Health Organization says is safe. On a polluted day like today, Beijing is limiting activity at factories and construction sites. It is also encouraging people to stay indoors and encouraging more street cleaning. China launched a so-called war on pollution, which today it appears to be losing. Two-thirds of China's energy comes from coal. Heating systems make pollution even worse. Out with his family today, Han Wei told us the choking smog makes it tough just to leave the house. Your son is about six and a half. How much do you think about him when you're out in this pollution? I hope the government could do more so my kid could live in a better environment, he told us. But I know it's not going to be done in a day. The government here said that the smog was made worse by high humidity and a lack of wind. Scott, we didn't see many people on the streets actually wearing these masks. Some told us they didn't believe they made a difference. Others said they simply felt resigned to living amid the pollution. Seth Doan in the smog capital tonight. Seth, thank you.